Hi, this is Jeff Foster for Smart Sound. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the new Smart Sound plugin for After Effects CC 2014. This plugin allows us to create a soundtrack in Sonic Fire Pro 5 and have it automatically bring it into our After Effects project. That way I can take that, put it into my composition, I can go back and make edits in Sonic Fire Pro 5 without ever leaving After Effects. I'm not going to show you how this works. It's just so simple. Now I've got my composition here. I've got a few edits, uh, some video clips in here, and I probably would add some motion graphics or something in here as well. But I've got this already RAM previewed, so we should be able to play it back pretty well. Uh, I'm going to come over to my project panel have that highlighted. I come up to the file menu, click on that, and come down to Smart Sound. Now that's going to bring us this pop-up here, and we're going to start with a new file that we're going to create and uh, have it made for this particular comp. And I take note that down here my comp is about two minutes long. So keep that in mind when I create my new uh, soundtrack. So I click Start New. <laughs> Obviously that launches Sonic Fire Pro 5. And I want something that is going to be kind of a soundtrack that's gonna work with this aerial footage that I've got here. Uh, so I'm just gonna type in the keyword fly in my Smart Sound Express Track window. And I know there's one somewhere in here that is going to work well for me. Let's try this one and see if that's it. <laughs> I think that's the one that's going to work. Now remember my composition was two minutes long, so I'm going to change that here. So I'm going to type in two, oh, 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 oh. there we go, two minutes long. Now I can do one of two things. I can either send it directly back to After Effects or I can pull down this tab. I can insert it at the timeline locator, then I can make further edits in uh, Sonic Fire Pro 5 or just export it. But I'm going to just click send and that's going to render out an AIF and then send it directly back to After Effects and put it right in my project panel here. It's right in there. So I can just drag that down to my comp and then we can hit our RAM preview down here. So you can see that soundtrack really reinforces this nice footage that we got. Uh, this first footage here was shot in San Francisco for uh, the Art City project where they replaced advertising on billboards with artwork. And you can learn more about them at helloartcity.com. It's a nonprofit. Uh, and this is one of their first exhibits we shot some aerial footage for. And then this is some wilderness area up around Chico in the parks. Um, it's Chico Creek and it's about a hundred and probably about a hundred and seven that day. People are out there swimming in the creek. Um, so I wanted something that was really peaceful in there that works really well. Let me listen to what this, uh, ending is like. We may want to change our ending on here. Let me just ram preview this one little portion. So let's say we wanted to make this a little shorter or have some kind of an edit to this uh, particular file. So instead of double clicking it and hoping that it's going to open up Sonic Fire Pro 5, we just select it in our project panel here and come up to file and then down here to smart sound again, just like we did when we created the initial AIF file. But this time, instead of saying start new, we go to edit selected. Now that will 
open this up into Sonic Fire Pro 5. And now we can make our edits. So say I wanted to change this ending somehow. Let's go to our timing control and let's move a couple things around here and see what it, it gives us here. Maybe we can make this just a little bit longer and that might automatically change a few things on the end here. So it's a little bit longer of a fade, a little smoother ending there. So say I like that edit. Um, I don't have to go and re-export it or anything. I just come up to File, then Send to Plugin Host. Since we use the plugin to create it and also edit it, it is highlighted, so I can click that. It automatically exports it as AIF. It overwrites the original file, which means it brings it in automatically into After Effects, and our uh, new audio ending is on here. And we can see it's a little bit longer. I'm going to drag this out and maybe I'll pull this out just a little bit more too. And then I could add, say, a quick fade to that if I wanted to. But, but let's go ahead and just play out this ending. So there we go. There's a really quick and easy way to get your soundtracks into After Effects CC 2014 by using the Smart Sound plugin. You can get it from smartsound.com. Uh, this is the ultimate round trip creation, editing, and importing tool for After Effects using Sonic Fire Pro 5. This is Jeff Foster for Smart Sound. Thank mm -hmm. you.